Hey everybody, Shane here, and welcome back to Scoop Hash. Today we are going to be talking about GameStop, everyone's favorite video game retailer, that sly little devil that keeps messing things up when they really need to be working on just trying to stay alive. Recently, the company announced that it would be running a company-wide TikTok contest where stores were encouraged to perform a synchronized dance together for a prize. And there were some incredible prizes to be won, including an Amazon Echo 8, an Amazon Echo Auto, a $100 Visa gift card, and 10 extra work hours on Black Friday? Yeah, that's right. GameStop was offering its employees 10 more hours of work as a prize. But not just any 10 hours, but also 10 hours of work during arguably the busiest time of the year for any retailer. During a pandemic. When this deadly virus is going on everywhere. Their contest announcement literally ends with, imagine what you can do with all those prizes. Yeah, we can imagine what we would do with those 10 more hours. Imagine everyone, what you could do with 10 extra hours of exposure to random strangers trying to pack themselves into your store while a deadly virus is still raging around the world. The announcement and posts have since been removed, which makes people wonder if the contest was cancelled since the reception was, well, pretty damn negative. But GameStop has yet to officially announce that the contest has been cancelled at all. But we really hope it has, for their sake and for the sake of their employees. I mean, this is ridiculous. If it was any company, any other company, this kind of thing would be ridiculed excessively. But the fact that it is GameStop just makes it so much worse. Good lord, we can't believe they thought it was a good idea, especially after the past few tumultuous years they have had. As many of you know, GameStop has been on the decline over the past few years. And despite some of their best efforts, they don't seem to be changing that trajectory anytime soon. With the emergence of digital game sales and just better, easier methods of getting games, a la Amazon and online retailers, People just aren't using GameStop as much as they used to, ourselves included. It also doesn't help that their trade-in prices are laughable at best. All of that kind of led to GameStop really taking a nosedive and plummeting in sales and profitability. And of course, the coronavirus pandemic didn't help that at all, as was true of many other businesses. But man, the company of GameStop did not do itself any favors when it tried to label itself as an essential business in order so that it could stay open far longer than it had any right to when the pandemic first hit in March. Yes, eventually they closed their stores and started doing curbside service, but come on, an essential service? Look, we love games as much as the next person, but I think something like groceries, health goods, and things we need to actually stay alive are probably more essential than video games. I mean, just get out of here, GameStop. That kind of move just shows that they're really out of touch with what they need to do in order to make their business profitable again, and it just is really an awful look for them. And also to go alongside of that, they announced that they're going to be closing at least 400 stores this year. That's a lot of stores, and that's going to leave a lot of people out of a job, which is something that we all hate to see. Nobody wants to see them lose their job. Look, we have a lot of great memories of GameStop. They were pretty much a stalwart figure in our gaming when we were younger. But they've continually shown how ineptly run and stubborn they are. They just can't seem to adjust to the changing landscape of gaming. Maybe it would help if they stopped giving out the worst amount of money if possible for our games and consoles that we're trying to trade in. I'm sorry. I know it's been beat to death over the years as a meme and a joke, but I'm just tired of getting $20 for my fully functional, pretty much good as new console that I'm trying to trade in for the next one. $20 is absolutely ridiculous. Regardless, GameStop just keeps striking out, it seems, and we don't really have an answer for how they can bounce back. But we can tell you that giving out labor hours as a prize is not the way to do it. We also want to take the time to encourage you all to not go out in droves for Black Friday this year, with the pandemic still going. Many stores are running deals all month, many of them are available online so you can stay safe at home. That sweet new deal just isn't worth risking your health and the health of others for. Just stay safe, people. 
If you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe to our channel for more videos like it, and share it with all the gamers you know. We are sure there are many more GameStop critics out there. And remember, for all your gaming news and more, be sure to check back in here with Scoop Pash.